All right, y'all. Welcome back to the workshop. So um, earlier today, I did a ASMR stream. I just didn't talk and I just worked. So um, I do want to explain some of the things I was doing. It's just little things here. Uh, put up this. That was probably one of the last things that I did is just get that broom rack up um, just for those utensils and stuff like that. And I also got like a magnet thing too, which is, that's really good. I've been wanting that for a while and I definitely should have had it a while ago. Uh, replace this Ryobi. Um, so I will be probably giving it to my brother or maybe even somebody local or something like that. We'll see. Uh, and then I replaced it with, um, that is, it's like a 10 inch. Yeah, it's a 10 inch or something like that. I think it's, yeah, I think it's a 10 inch. Yeah. And this is a 12 inch, um, cobalt, uh, dual bevel, sliding compound miter saw um this does a lot better with dust collection i will be hooking up the vacuum to it and i'll show you that um in terms of small stuff put up this little rack for the screwdrivers uh and batteries so um you know got that up and running and i'll clean up the cable here in a little bit uh one of the biggest things uh, one of the nicer things is um the stand that the uh, miter saw is on uh, I was able to get these gate locks here, and these act as like handles, which I didn't, like, that's not what I was thinking. I just wanted something like quick latch, but like it's, like I'm talking like perfect is not even a good enough word for the way this, this whole thing here works out. So I can push that out, and you know, I usually do this with two hands, but I would push that out, and then it would release this here, and you know, I was able to get this at the right level. Right. So, you know, I had to do a lot of measurements, cutting. I do have them on casters, uh, all the wheels swivel, swivel on that. If we go actually go back to this year real quick, I put a piece of board in the back that'll stop these cabinets. So I got I just got this one and then I had that one up previously and then I replaced the casters on it so it can do uh, it can fully articulate. So uh, or it has full range of motion. So move it. Uh, I can move it this way and that way and everything else like that. I did it on this one using the wheels from both of them, put them together, and that's not working out the greatest. It's not as smooth as uh, these store-bought casters. So I'm going to buy some more tonight and replace all of those in time. And then I'll start organizing and getting all that stuff in these. Uh, but yeah, onto this, or back to the miter saw. So with the miter saw, let's see if I can... Ugh. Hopefully that will stay. So with the miter saw, what I was able to do is um i probably push it pull it, put the phone down but i could push it all the way in it locks in place uh and then i can pull it out like this as well and what's nice about that is that now i have the full cutting surface surface for um my table saw so uh, the next thing is to integrate this table saw into this bench here so that'll be cutting a section out of out for that uh and then one other thing i did which is you know I, you see this on etsy uh, Pinterest, actually Pinterest, and then they sell the plans on Etsy, but then you have something that holds, like for instance, if I wanted to, I could put another piece of plywood here, which I will, I'll cut out another piece, um, same size as this, and I'll put it in here as a placeholder, so that way, probably have a little bit of weight to it or something like that, um, yeah, it probably have some weight to it, we'll see, uh, but another piece of plywood off of that sheet over there, and then go ahead and put it, uh, in that, in that gap. Um, it's not totally needed, but it's really needed, if anything, for this piece of the lip here because the wood will just naturally go down into that. But um, yeah, with that being said, I mean, I could just go like this. Wait, what did I do? Oh, okay. I pushed it too hard. Usually I have it level or I have both hands on it and I'm pushing it in. Um, and it's not exact and not perfect. Like this, the base kind of sticks out at an angle like that. So that kind of sucks. And that's just my like measurement or my uh, fastening of these screws and everything. And I could probably fix it by taking out those screws back there and then shifting this thing back and cutting that piece of wood off. But we'll see if it bothers me enough. So you could push it in and once you push it in and then it's locked in place pretty much because these will go down. So now this is a part of the table. And I can move the whole table with it there. Um, actually, actually, one of the, really the last thing I did was actually integrate this uh, shop vac into in there. Now I wanted to be able to take the shop back out and then still have it on its wheels. So I built a platform out of just uh, two by fours. Uh, it'll it goes all the way across, and then I have some stops 
uh, on it around it so it can't just really just go out of place that way I can still take it out because I was going to take the wheels off and then have it lay flat or sit there flat but that's still not a guarantee that it won't move or anything else like that so uh, by having these stops all around it and using like you know some uh, pieces of wood I have left over from other cuts um, I'm able to use this so what I'm going to do is uh, in time um, integrate uh, like a tube or something like that that goes to the to the miter saw and then also comes from here so I'll probably cut out like a little hole or something like that back there we'll see if I can get it to be flush or what have you so we'll see um, or I'll run a line and you can use PVC for this but um, run a line all the way back that way and then have an attachment from there with maybe like a ball valve to cut it off or something like that or to cut off suction um, and now, of course, I'll be hooking up the table saw to that as well. That was one question that was asked. Uh, oh, man, I think I forgot who asked that. I apologize. I try to try to remember. I, or I think of these things and, you know, I, I always feel bad. You know, somebody makes a comment and it's just like the person doesn't get credit for a great comment. Um, but if you got if you want, whoever, I think it was maybe I always think it's like Don 007 or something. Like that, but it's not always but uh, or D313. Uh, but uh, the. Um, the comment was talking more about, okay, filtration system, particles in the air and stuff like that, which is one of the reasons why I had the garage open today and I was blowing some stuff out. And then I had the door open as well earlier. But um, what I'm going to be doing is uh, that the vacuums for that. And then I'll also have some exhaust fans that will take some stuff out and I can control those. Like, you know, they can be automated for temperature and then you can um, actually have them uh, manual control. And then I'll also have an AC unit in here, AC heating unit that will filter the air as well. So um, I should be well ventilated even when all doors are closed. And I may even just get at the, um, uh, one day, just get a uh, swamp fan or something like that, one of those large circular fans. Uh, they're probably about 170 bucks, a little bit cheaper, depending on which size you get. Um, and I can just have that at the end there and that'll suck out a lot of air and particles and stuff like that that way. Excuse me. So um, yeah, this is, uh, I've been putting a lot of work into this, so um, I'm actually liking, really liking where the way it's going um, and, you know, uh, just getting some stuff done. The truck has been very good. Um, it has this co low coolant light on it and really the tank had like no coolant in it. And I saw that at the dealership and, you know, they're going to check it today's Sunday. So they're going to check it on Wednesday. But I was like, no. Nah. So I added coolant to it and filled it up. Haven't had the light since. Did an hour. I did three hours of driving last night. Um went to the strip club um and so one and a half hours uh back and or in one and a half hours each way so um it held up there was no problems it was very smooth i really wanted to get the truck out there next weekend i'll actually be probably going down to my homeboy's house in uh deltona and going to a strip club there as well and um <laughs> uh going down there as well and just chilling with him and then um what's it called uh, testing that out. So that would be a three hour drive. So just kind of trying to get out with the truck and stuff like that and put it on the road. Like it's already road tested, but it's like, okay, have I road tested it, felt how it is and everything else like that. And it's great in terms of the cruise control and the speed. Like, honestly, it's so smooth that you don't even know that you're <laughs> traveling as fast as you're traveling. So, um, you know, that's kind of, that's actually really nice. Uh, it is a little bit on the bumpy side because of the stiffer, stiffer suspension, because a truck like that is made to haul loads. Gas mileage, actually, um, it's rated at probably about 19.9, 19.1 miles per gallon highway. And I was very impressed with the gas mileage thus far. I still have, you know, I filled up the tank Thursday when I got it and I've been driving around and I still have probably about like 400 something miles worth of travel. So for instance, on that tank currently, I can drive from my house all the way down to South Florida without filling up. And that's impressive uh, for a big truck like that. Um, will I really get that? You know, uh, we'll see. And, but that's on like, you know, what I have left. I think I have maybe three quarters of a tank and it doesn't even do quarters. It actually does like, oh man, like fifths or something like that or six. I think it splits it in, I think it splits it in five or something like that. So it does it in fifths. So I still have probably about, uh, 80% of that tank left. So I'm really impressed with the gas mileage thus far for such a big truck and it's a diesel and everything too. And, um, you know, supposedly diesel is more efficient, burns cleaner, stuff like that. I don't totally know. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. There's a couple requirements that I had, and I wanted it all in one truck, which is why I paid so much for it. 
Um, and I will be talking about that in a video later on today uh, about finance and looking at the interest rate and <laughs> how much I will be paying in interest if I let the if I don't make any extra payments and I don't do any refinancing uh, and going over that and, you know, how that is a quote unquote pitfall that we just don't look at. So um, and the reason why I just didn't care about it, um, because I had a plan already, like I knew I was going to refinance. But anyways, we'll go into that later. But as far as the shop is concerned, yeah, uh, getting some stuff done um, so far, so good. And hopefully what I'll do, well, hopefully pretty soon. Uh, I got again, I got to pay down some cards and stuff like that. And then I'll finally get the flooring all throughout here. I also got to get like the exterminator out here because I see a lot of roaches, little small roaches that are coming in uh, from the lake and all that stuff. So they're just crawling up through the seams. There's like a seam here, um, but they're crawling up through that. What I may do is I don't know if I can I don't know if I can find some type of sealant. It almost doesn't matter. It's best that yeah, I'll have to fumigate this place, not fumigate, but um, treat this place or something like that, because they'll find some way to get in, whether it's the window vent, it doesn't matter. So. I need to have a chemical barrier of some sort. So um, I'll be figuring something out for that and getting that done. All right. With that being said, thank you so much for always listening. Love you all. I really do mean that. And I appreciate those that do come to the, the streams, show love, even if it's one comment and dip out, watch playback, so on and so forth. And I'll probably do a little bit more of those ASMR woodworking streams uh, because they're actually pretty cool. So we'll see. Uh, or I thought they were pretty cool. So um, with that being said... Thank you as always. Peace.